Tina and this is going to be my September favorite. I know it's been a long time and I always say that so I'm not even gonna make a speech about it. I have gathered um, the makeup that I've been using a lot the past few months. So without further ado, I'm just gonna start it. So usually how I go about this is I start with the base and then up going down. It's already October. Can I just say how fast this year has been? And I think this might be my first this year. That's so sad. <laughs> so for the skincare, I will be making a separate video for that because I have seen that a few of you guys have been asking for an updated skincare routine. And I've been doing a lot um, with my skincare, so I'll be making a separate video for that. But for the foundation, I have been using only Pond's BB Cream. And this is in the color beige. Um, I've been using this because I didn't want my foundation to be too thick on a daily basis but I don't before I would always opt for a thick full coverage foundation but then now I'm sort of leaning more towards the lighter coverage foundations which is this one it's only a BB cream I bought this in mercury drug and I said I really wanted to try it I went for the beige and not the lighter color because I know that I'd rather have a yellowish tone color because that's the color with the majority of my body and so that, and this is what I'm using right now. It has held my oil pretty good as well. So if you have oily skin, I suggest you try this. Coverage-wise, it's about medium coverage, to be honest. It's not even that light. And I just really like how this lasts throughout the day. So I'm really impressed about this. I forgot how much this is, but... But you can definitely check this out in the Mercury Drug, in department stores. It's pretty much everywhere. It spawns. For concealer in a man, I've been using two kinds. Pardon me, I have a bunny behind me. See? Can you see them? There's two of them down there. I pretty much cover the background because I can't be bothered to fix my background or buy a background yet, maybe. So I just cover it with my body because I'm thick. Anyways, for the concealer, um, if I want a lighter coverage, Concealer, I would go for my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in... So it says here light, so I've been using this because it doesn't give you super heavy coverage but it does brighten your under eye. So I really like this. I bought this... Oh, I got this from America because my tita has been sending me a lot of products that I should be selling but I haven't been selling. But I have actually a lot of makeup to sell and this is one of them. I'm so sorry but she only sent me one of each color. So I have the one in very fair I think and one in light and I got them right away because I've heard on YouTube that it's pretty good. So if I do want some heavier coverage foundation, I mean concealer, I go for the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Medium Moyen. Actually these two, they're not very yellowish. They're more of a salmony, with like a hint of salmon color. Parang for me kasi, I'd rather do that to make it look more natural so it just hides the bags. Because I don't have really dark eye bags, but I do have them. So I just want to cover it a bit and just cover it with powder foundation afterwards. Because uh, I don't know, I'm not I'm not that fair, but I don't think I'm super fair to have that super light like highlight under my eyes with a super light concealer. You know what I'm saying? But it's very hard for me to do that because I'm quite fair. So I just try to neutralize it instead of like literally highlighting it with like two shades higher na concealer. I don't know if you get it but I just try to neutralize it. So I opt for a more pinky undertone concealer. For powder foundation man, I haven't been really changing. Of course with your fixed foundation, very um, standard. But the new thing that I've been using a lot, and which is surprisingly so effective, I got this from Michelle D. It's the Nichido, um, wait lang, what's it called? Pressed Powder in Tan. I know it's tan, I'm not tan, but I do want to, what do you call that? Parang gusto ko siyang ipantay kasi with the color of my skin. Kasi, you know, my arms are a little tan because of the amount of sun it gets on a normal daily basis. And my face is very white. So I try to just equalize the color. Parang one tone siya. You, you match it with the chest. My face is usually whiter than my chest. So I try to match it. So I got tan. Although this is a little bit 
Siguro a shade darker than my normal pressed powder or powder that I would use. But the thing is, I like that because it gives me dimension. I only put this around the face, never in the center because I would look tan now. And I just use my NC30 on the middle of my face. I'm actually NC25, but I prefer NC30. And then I use a tan color on the outside of the face. So it gives me that dimension without having to contour heavily. So I, I'm so in love with this. It's so matte and the coverage is pretty darn good and it's only 100 pesos. Thank you Michelle D for telling me that this is amazing because it really is. I love it! It smells like powder so childhood memories. So for the eyebrows, I've been using this MAC eyebrow pencil a lot in stud. It's very dark. It's super duper dark. It's only okay if you have jet black hair, but if you don't, then I don't suggest you using it, not unless you like a very, very dark eyebrow. See, I only use this on the outer tail, and then I just use a brush to spread it towards the inner part. So be really careful with using this, but if you would like to try pretend you use a lighter color, then you just use a darker one on the outer tail, which is the technique that I've been using for years now, and it's amazing. So I've been using this one a lot because it's very easy to blend, very pigmented, and it lasts a long time, so it's pretty good. Although another thing that I've been loving for my brows is from the IT Collection palette from Sephora. This two color right here. Actually, these are cake eyeliner from this palette. So you have the eyeshadow palette and you have these two cake eyeliners for the eye. I use them for the brows. I don't know. I just I really love it. The, the brush is amazing for the brows because it's very stiff, very fine and just it's perfect for a straight line if you want it really on fleek. So I use this color on the inner part, like barely touching it because it's very pigmented. This, this palette is very pigmented. So I use a little bit of this and then I line the outer tail with this dark one. It's amazing because, I don't know, for some reason whenever I use this for my brows, people compliment me more and they just say that my eyebrows aren't too thick, they aren't too bushy looking, or they're just perfect in my opinion. So I've been using this a lot and Sephora has been surprising me ever since I got this palette. Like first this one and then their lipsticks. Guys, take a chance in Sephora again. It's affordable but it's pretty good. Okay, now moving on for the eyes. To prime my eyes, I've been using the Essence Eyeshadow Primer Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This is very affordable. It's only 249 It works. It makes it last. It makes it pop. Lasting power is not as good as the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But at the same time, it does the job and it's cheaper so I like it. And it's also very easy to blend. Okay, now for eyeshadow. I have been using this non-stop. Almost to the point that I'm just like, Oi, you have other palettes. Or like you have other palettes, you know, you have to use the others. Everything is just literally there already and it's kind of hard not to use. So it's is a Weva Warm Spectrum Palette. If you have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been using this a lot because I always put them in the description. So these are, oh my god, they're mostly more awake in the morning. So it's 3 a.m. right now. By the way, I just found this. It, you don't, you can barely see it, but um, my hair keeps falling to my face, so I thought, why not? Okay, so this Zoeva palette pigmentation is amazing. Look at this white one. It's this purple. Ay, girl. It's too damn good. See, it, you can even hardly take it off because it's just so good. People are saying, oh, it's so expensive. It is because it's damn good. You know, you can't eat in a fine dining restaurant and just be like, it's too expensive. Yeah, because it's quality goods, you know. And this is it. This is fine dining eyeshadow right here. It's just it's so good. If you can look at my review for this palette in another video, I will link it down below or you can find it here. Click here. Open another window. Don't worry. I still got you here. But yeah, I've been using this color a lot. Orange on the eyes nowadays is life. So these three are awesome if you just want to neutralize your lids for an easier blending. This brown is good for transition shade. This is a normal cool gold, so it's pretty good. You can also use it for highlighter. 
Um, I've been using also this dark brown to darken my crease and the black one is so freaking pigmented. Everything is pigmented. This one I'm not exactly fond of because it's just a shimmery cream color. Not really into that. This is amazing mixed with the orange color. Para lang siyang para fresh na sunset. You know? But everything is good. As in, oh my god. Can't wait for you guys to try this. You should definitely get your hands on this. You can never complain. I will let you guys have a direct link to this palette if you want. You should get them because I happen to know that the other bloggers are talking about this now. So get your hands on them while you still can, while it's still available in Sephora PH. Get it while it's there. Not Malako. Balaka. I've also been loving this palette, like I said a while ago, for the brows. And this is so dark. It's amazing. This color is also so dark. This is great if you foil it on the middle. The ay, nako. And also, this gold and this one is pretty darn light. It's very lit. Like I said in my review, I wish it had more warm tones, but other than that, it's still a pretty good palette and I do wish you guys would take your chance on it. And just because it's Sephora doesn't mean it's not good. Um, it's still pretty darn good. It's a little chalky, but no, not chalky. But I mean, when you touch it a bit. But other than that, it's okay because you can always tap off the excess. Come on, let's go old school, guys. As long as it gives you the damn color payoff, then it's good. For the eyeliner, I've been using the Kat Von D Ink Liner. It's so good. It will give you any shape that you want. And it's so pigmented. See, you can go as thin as you want. You can go as thick as you want. Thin. Whatever you can do it. You can even probably put your signature here. It's that good. It's that fine. And the thing is, the tip of it is parang I guess felt. Para siyang pentel pen talaga. It doesn't go limp. If you know what I'm saying, it's still pretty hard. So you can really get a crisp line with it because it's still very sharp. So I highly suggest it. From what I remember, it's not waterproof. But I don't really care sometimes. As long as I look good and my liner is on fleek, then I like it. And another product for the eyeliner is this ColourPop Gel Liner. I really like it because it stays on your lid no matter what. Oh my god, that's a big piece. Just be very careful with it because it breaks easily. But I guess you just don't have to go... Okay, marami pa naman. But yeah, YouTubers have been raving about this and my sister hoarded like, like there's no tomorrow eyeliners from ColourPop and she gave me one and I really like it. I'm using it right now. The thing that I appreciate about this is it stays on your waterline. So I like that. I'll try to use more eyeliners in my next tutorials because I've been going very simple in my previous ones. If I could just steal my sister's eyeliner, I would because she never used them. She would hoard more than I would and then she just never uses them. Okay, now moving on to the cheeks. <laughs> it's this one. It's the Becca with collaboration with Jacqueline Hill. I saw this with Anna Kais live because she's my friend on Facebook. And I was just sold. I've been planning to buy this for the longest time. And when she was raving about it, it just sold me even more. And I found this online for a much, much cheaper price. I believe that you can find this in Sephora for about 3000 something something but I only got it for 2,800 you got Prosecco pop and champagne pop I'm using champagne pop on my face right now it's very standard it's amazing it goes with all skin tones it's actually much much better than the sleek solstice palette that's a little too much for me and I'm pretty fair I feel like it will only be really great for a pale or light light skin tone but this one fits all the skin tones and it's amazing Jacqueline Hill you have done a great job although for the for the cheek colors I've been quite afraid to use them because they are so pigmented that literally you have to use the lightest hand to apply it on your cheeks although I've been using amaretto a lot if I'm very lazy to contour my cheeks I basically use it contour and for blush 
So, isang ganun lang and I'm done. I don't have to contour anymore or put bronzer on my face anymore. That's pretty good now on the cheeks. And it's so natural looking. So, I like how warm this is. And at the same time, it's still a bronzer, I guess. It's just, it's worth your money. And it's the full size. I do suggest that you guys get your hands on that. It. It, it's just a must if you're a makeup lover. Do it for this. Oh my god, it's such a bargain. I actually forgot where I bought this from, so I'm so sorry, but Sephora PH does have it. Okay, so for the past, what, few years that I've been contouring my nose, I've been using my bronzer. For me, it works really well, and no one has really said that, oh, your, your nose is kind of warm. Or like reddish so why is it like that but I do notice ever since I worked for it Bulaga that our makeup artist doesn't use the bronzer on the nose he uses like a different shade for the nose because I guess I understand that on the cheeks you can use a warm like matte bronzer but for the nose you can't really pull that off it has to be the right shade of coolness and warmness that will still give you the natural contour effect and he has been using matte eyeshadow in cork in my nose I'm using it right now and I feel like it's very seamless in a way it's not all up in your face and I contour yung elongo but it still gives you a more pinched nose effect I use it in a very light hand so it's not super obvious you can also use this for on your cheeks if you want a super duper deep cheekbone the color is just I'll try to swatch it for you so it's a very taupey color but at the same time not muddy I don't know how else to explain this other than that I think that it's the perfect nose line shape and for 1,000, para lang sa ilong nyo, te. Baka abutin kang 10 years para lang maubos to. So divide by that to the amount that you're gonna give on this single product that will save your nose's life forever. Mahal, pero investment. Okay, now for the lips. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love experimenting colors with my lipsticks. But sometimes I go for the same shades. But I love lipsticks. So I have a lot to show you guys. First is ColourPop. This shade is freaking amazing. The name is freaking frack. My <laughs> freaking nashadon. Yeah, it's the perfect parang dusty rose color. This is ultra satin. It's so beautiful on the lips. It's amazing for weddings. I used this on my cousin's wedding. She looked so great. It's amazing in all skin tones, I assume. It's just a really nice neutral lip. But if you want a bolder lip, and if I want a red lip but not like ruby woo red, I go for London Fog. This is Ultra Satin again. Ultra Satin is so much better than Ultra Matte to be honest. So I suggest you quit the Ultra Matte. Well, not all. Some of it are still amazing, but I just, I don't know. I'm just a little bit biased on the Ultra Satin. I'm gonna give you swatches soon, so watch out for that. I'm not gonna tell you when because I always forget to film. But this is my go-to red lip. It's like a bright uh, red lip, I guess. So para siyang dark coral, I guess. But mukha siyang red. I mean, on the lips. This is amazing. Lala, oh my god, I cannot. This is so nice on the lips. It's not like this one that I'm using, pero ang ganda talaga. Kung ayaw mo mag red, go for London Fog. It's cheap and pretty damn good. Next matte lipstick is from Sephora. It's not a liquid lipstick, but it's just as good, to be honest. It's velvety. It's the Sephora Color Lip Last. Once again, it's like a neutral, pinky, everyday color. It's velvety. I use this on my cheeks. I use this when I go to the gym. I have a video on that and I will link you to it once again below. It's just, it's perfect. It lasts on your skin and at the same time, lasts on your lips. So basically, it just lasts a long time. Amazing. The color is great. And they have a lot of different colors for you to choose from. Next lip color is from Kat Von D. I just bought this from Singapore a couple of months ago. Or like a month ago. And it's amazing. I'm so in love with orange color lip colors. <laughs> I'm so in love with orange lip colors that are not like in your face orange like this is a little bit in your face coral to me you know what i'm saying this one is like para siyang toned down version ng 22 it's a nude version of an orange lip that's how i think i would describe it it's lolita number two by kat von d it also lasts forever on your lip Look how amazing that is 
It's super perfect for fall. But if you want a nude color for fall, this is it. Ah, oh, ganda. Ganda. It doesn't feel heavy also and it's matte. Lasting power is great. Okay, so something new naman that is not matte is the Kylie Lip Gloss in Like. And I really like this. <laughs> for me, this is the perfect nude lip gloss. You have pigmentation. Then you have the gloss. It's pretty thick. It's very pigmented. But it doesn't catch your hair naman on your lips. You know what I'm saying? This is just the perfect lip gloss for me. The perfect nude lip gloss. And at the same time, it has color. So you don't even have to put a lipstick underneath it. It's just, it smells great. It's all literally my perfect gloss ever. I bought this online. I don't know if he still sells it because it was just like this random person that I saw online. It wasn't even a shop. But this gloss, if you want a simple but eye-catching, plumping, perfect nude lip gloss without making you look pale, this is it. I have literally also... Wait, I'll swatch it for you. It's definitely much paler. So if you want the paler look, then literally would be for you. But if you are more of a deeper skin tone or you don't want it to be super duper pale looking, then like is for you. But other than that, the Kylie glosses are pretty good. Kylie, I'm so impressed with how um, they're really taking it seriously. You know, it's not just the, oh, Kylie Cosmetics. They really are, you know, stepping up the game. Parang before, you would think that people would just buy it just because it's Kylie's cosmetics, but then now I'm actually buying it because it's pretty damn good. How many times sound like pretty damn good? But it is pretty damn good. Okay, so that's all for the makeup, and now moving on to the hair. I've been amazed with this 5-in-1 curling iron. This is what it looks like. I have been using this a lot. Every time I curl my hair and my pictures on Instagram, this is what I've been using. You can change the size of the barrel. You have five different options. It heats very fast, curls very fast. For some stupid reason, it makes my curls last longer. So I have a review on it. I will link it again down below or it's right here. So freaking affordable. Ito literal, yung iba kasing tao makapagsabi na affordable, kala mo 5,000 affordable. Pero ito literal, affordable talaga to, grabe. 1,8 lang. And you get 5 different sizes. So if you divide that, how much is that? Ang dali lang. Like what, 300 or 200 something? Tawa ba? I guess. Mga ganun. O diba? Sobrang sulit. Zambilis pa uminit. It's perfect for personal use, perfect for professional use. You should just get it. I will link where you can get it on Instagram down in the description box. Watch my video for a full detailed review about this. All I can say, trust me when I say it's good because I will never ever rave a product that I do not like. So of course, if you curl your hair, then you're probably gonna spray it. It's surprisingly, I thought it would just be like any other like, oh, it's because of, it's that brand. But it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. It's the Kardashian hairspray. It smells amazing. Para ka nagpabango sa hair, it holds your hair without making it stiff. Na parang you can still get movement from it. I know a professional hairstylist that don't like it per se. It's different for everyone. I like it for my hair because it holds my curls without making it like sticks or like noodles. And it's with black oil. I also have the oil version of it and I'm using it right now if you're wondering why my hair looks healthy. I've been using this one. If you know me in person, you know my hair is not the healthiest looking. But look at it now. And it's all because of this. Every time I use this, I'm just like, Ma! My hair is so healthy. I don't like it. And if you hung out with me or you just know my style in general, I'm more into the damaged hair look. Like if my hair is too healthy, I will kill it. I'll just be like, nah, you're alive again. I'ma kill you. That's how I am. But I do have my moments where I want it looking fine and alive. So I use this after I shower when I dry it. I girl. It's like a zombie, you know, but like for the hair. <laughs> but it's good. It revives your hair. It makes it parang born again. It's it's so good. Look at it. Can we just appreciate it? Deba? Sobra. Pero yun nga, if you're into the textured hair, don't use this. But if you are for the fine, sleek, soft hair, this is for you, especially if you have frizzy hair like me. And this is perfect. It's expensive. It's like 800 pesos. But it's definitely worth the money. 
So is this. This one is 8.50 pesos. 50 pesos lang yung. And you know, ilang beses ko na to ginamit to, andami pa. So I'm very very impressed with it. Okay, so that is it. That was a long ass video, but at least I have one for you, the ba? I know you guys have been waiting for a new video from me, and I've actually lost all the momentum. But you know what? I'm still gonna upload every time I remember to upload. <laughs> But yeah, it's better to try sometimes, diba? Don't let go. Nakahawak pa ako sa YouTube world with one pinky. I'm not as active and I'm sorry, but I'm still here. So don't worry about it. I actually wrote everything down in my Canon PH notebook that they gave me. And I'm also using the Canon. Oh my god, another favorite! I'm using it. The EOS M10 camera. It's literally perfection. If you're not the type who's going to be super techy and you don't need a DSLR, this camera is perfect. I'm looking at it right now. It looks slick. It's tiny. You can change the lenses with with professional lenses that you, or the ones that you already have. Meron siyang creative assist mode. It's like, you know, parang may parang black and white mode. Kasi may mode siya. And may creative assist. As in, ito literally pointed to wherever you want to take a picture. And it will like artistify it. That's not a word. Mm. If you're like me, who's not a photographer, I even had a photography class back in college and I didn't learn anything. If you can't be bothered with learning all the techy choo choo ness of the aperture, aperture, ISO choo choo choo, then this camera is perfect for you. It retails to 21,000 pesos. For me, that's not bad at all. The camera that I used before this is 30,000 pesos and this camera is way better. Way, way better. It has so many features that I haven't opened up yet. And I am so in love with it already. So I do suggest that you check it out. Ask to see for it in the store and kalikutan yun ang kalikutan. It's just so freaking good. The only complaint that I would have with this is that the battery lasts about two days or a day and a half if you're gonna vlog. Charging of the battery will take you about one hour to two hours. That is really fast. It's not heavy. My other camera was so heavy. Oh, another complaint that I have is yung viewfinder niya, from like that, it goes upwards. It doesn't go sideways, right? My old camera kasi, it goes sideways and then you can like turn it and then close it like that so that the screen doesn't get scratched. This one, it just goes down. So the screen is still exposed. So that's my second complaint so far. Because I scratch my camera off for like a week. That's the only thing. But then again, you can always buy like a bag for it. You know. I'm going to Bali at the end of the year, so I'm taking this camera with me for sure. Okay, that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. For sure, in the next month or maybe the end of the year, I will have another favorites because I have products that I've been looking at and been trying. So wait for that. For sure, end of the year, I will have another favorites. I just don't know if I can keep it up monthly. Don't ask me what I've been doing. You guys can follow me on my social media for that. I'm just really lazy. So yeah, that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, other than thank you for being patient with me and I I see you guys the one that still watch me even after all this time I still see you and I appreciate you. I love you so much So if you have any questions regarding all the products that I've mentioned in this video Please don't hesitate to comment down below or message me on my Facebook Instagram Twitter Or you can follow me on snapchat all of the links and names will be down in the description box and with all that said I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. <laughs> Bye. God bless. Mwah.